Hello all you awesome Dolly folks out there. Thank you for joining me for another video. And to those of you who are new to this channel, I thank you for joining us. I will be showing you today Claudine Wolf from the new 2016 Monster High line Shriek Wreck. As we all know, Monster High has gone through, it's going through a little bit of a rebranding. So there'll be a lot of new dolls coming up, a lot of new content. And I'm so very excited to see what they have in store for us this year. Also, there's been a tad bit of controversy when it comes to the new face molds. And, you know, understandably so, being a long-time Monster High fan myself. But I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, I like to actually get my hand on something and to form a real opinion. And not just flat out say I dislike something. So without further ado, let's jump right into this review. I will be showing you guys the box really, really quick. Of course, the front of the box, it has, it's of course the, the window box. It has artwork of Claudine Wolf in the front. It says Daughter of the Red Wolf, of course. Shriek Wreck here, the little skull, the Monster High Skullette with the little eye patch to give it that um, pirate thing. And of course it has other little embellishments as treasures, pictures of treasure and the ship and things of that sort. And on the back of the box, again, more artwork of Carl Claudine, Shriek Wreck again, the little Monster High Skullette, um, the daughter of the werewolf, and it also shows you other ghouls that is available in this line, and they are uh, Katrine Demieux, Gil Weather, Dana Treasurer Jones, Laguna Blue, Draculara, and Rochelle Ghoul. All right, I'll read the bio really quickly. It says, the swashbuckling mateys are on a hunt for buried treasure, but being a pirate is hard work, especially when the vessel gets tossed by monstrous waves. Their cruise of a lifetime is turning out to be all wet. All right, so now let us take a look at Claudine Wolf herself. So first we'll start off with, of course, um, the most important thing when it comes to this line is the face because this is the thing you know the new monster high molds are causing a bit of controversy but um honestly i think the face is absolutely beautiful i think it's fresh i think it's natural i think it definitely has that girl next door feel i've said this in tons of my barbie videos uh, and i think that's what mattel was going for to kind of reach a broader uh a younger audience and I i'm definitely down for that but we'll start from head to toe of course, Claudine has her brown hair with the purple streak. She has it in a side ponytail. She has this little hat on, this little sailor's cap on, and it is in pink and black. And it has a little paw print here and little crossbones. Moving down to her face, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. Those big eyes, her big eyes showing off her, her wolfy um, um, golden eyes. And of course, she has on the purple eyeshadow and a simple pink lip. Moving down, she has on this uh, um, charm necklace, has a lot of little uh, nautical embellishments and with also a compass and a crescent moon in the front. So I think that looks really, really nice. And of course, her top is definitely a nautical thing. I've seen this in tons of TV shows and cartoons and things of that sort. It is in purple, white, and black. Um, and instead of just regular lines, it has these like little uh, claw marks in them, which I think is really, really cool. Ties into her um, wolf aesthetic. Moving down to her waist, she has on a pink belt with a gold uh, skull and crossbones. Her pants are these simple capris with uh, gold embellishments on each side. Her boots are purple. And they, again, they have the gold crescent moon with the compass. And they also have that wooden leg, uh, the wooden peg leg kind of feel, which I absolutely love. I think that's really cool. And it definitely um, goes well with the whole ensemble. And of course, she has here her little pink bag. And it also has the crossbones, the crescent, and the compass. A lot of other little doohickeys and doodads and embellishments to tie into the look. And I think it goes really, really well. Okay. As far as articulation goes, Claudine has articulation in the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the waist, the hip joint, the knee, and the head can rotate up and down, left and right, which I think is really cool. So they haven't lost any of their articulation, which I, I, I absolutely love. So I'm really, extremely ecstatic about that okay now as far as the lambs uh, lambs are concerned i'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to 
uh, wave one clotting wolf. Now, as you can see, this is what's been causing a lot of controversy. Uh, the faces are clearly different, but it's not just the faces. If you take a look at the limbs, the limbs are much thicker. What I can say about the new dolls is the new dolls um, is a bit of a hybrid between Monster High and Ever After High. I really, really love the thicker bodies. That means they can hold poses well and we won't have any wobbly joints uh, after owning a doll uh, after a certain amount of time. So I do really love that. So what can I say about these new dolls? I can say these new dolls are extremely well built. I love the new design. I love the new face mold. And... I think um, overall Mattel did a great job. I think fans of Monster High, uh, those new and old, will really, really enjoy these new dolls. Um, that's all I have to say. I think Claudine Wolfs looks amazing. I completely, I certainly look forward to more dolls in this line, and there will be definitely more Monster High content on this page. Um, all that I can say is I love this doll, and welcome back, Monster High. So if you guys like what you've seen, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.